right guys, today we're doing something a little different. It's sort of like a challenge. It is, I'm calling it the Mauka to Makai challenge. So for those of you who don't know, Mauka in Hawaiian is like the land, the mountains area of the island. And then Makai is the sea, the ocean. So what I have to do for this challenge is basically I have to go into the mountains and catch four fish. And then in the same day, go to the ocean and also catch four fish before the day is over, before the sun completely sets below the horizon. So um, I'm going to try and do that because there's nowhere to go diving this weekend. Everywhere is kind of junk. So um, I'm going to do this instead. And it seems pretty fun. I thought of it like a couple days ago. So uh, hopefully I can do it. I'm pretty confident, but, you know, who knows? Um, so let's just get out there and do this. All right, guys, so we're starting starting off in the Malka side of the island today, which is, as you can see, the mountains. And I'm starting off in a stream, and you might be wondering how I'm supposed to catch a fish from a stream in Hawaii. Well, um, the stuff that lives in here, you know, a lot of it is small, guppies. Anyone who's lived in Hawaii for a long time, I'm sure some of you have come down to streams to swim or play or whatever. But um, I bet you've never really seen that many fish. But one thing does live in here, and that is bass. Now, there aren't many, but there are smallmouth bass in these waters, and I have a bunch of baits here that are going to help me get some bass. So, um, what I have here is, I'm going to start off with this, it's called a Senko. It's supposed to imitate a worm, and it's uh, in green pumpkin color, which is uh, a great color for smallmouth, largemouth, all of that, um, on the mainland, and so it's gonna, probably going to work here. Uh, this is a six inch Senko, so I'm probably gonna cut it down a little bit and then uh, rig it up. So I'll, I've only got one rod and one reel, so um, let's get to it. All right guys, so here's how I'm gonna rig this up. This right here is called an offset worm hook and it's called offset because as you can see, there's a little thing right here. It's offset from the rest of what a hook would normally be, which would just follow the same uh, direction as this little part right here, but it's offset for a reason. So um, in this stream and in a lot of streams and creeks, there's a lot of things to get snagged on, you know, a lot of rocks, stuff like that. So what you're going to do uh, to make this weed less is you're going to stick the hook in like that, only a little bit, as you can see right there, and then shove it all the way down into here, and then you get it up on that hook. And then you measure on the little on the little part right there and you measure it like that so about there and then wherever you measured you stick the hook in there and voila as you can see this the hook is sticking out like that and then to make it weedless you stick the hook point down into the uh, bait like that so now the hook point is covered by the bait so now if it hits any snags, it's just going to go right over. But if a fish bites down on it, if you watch, if a fish bites down here, the hook point will pop out. So it's weedless, and then until a fish bites it, it's, that hook point is not going to be exposed. So it, it's perfect for um, fishing places that have a lot of rocks, a lot of weeds. So uh, let's get cast. Guys, I think I just found the biggest freaking crayfish. Oh, it's two. Oh, that's a big boy. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Look at that freaking claw. Woo. Dang. It's a big one. Throw you back in the stream. Well, now we know what they're feeding on, probably crayfish. So I think maybe later, if the Senko who isn't working, I'll switch up to a crayfish style bait. But we'll see. Um, oh, oh.
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey! There we go. That's fish number one. Fish number freaking one. Let's get it. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. On the green pumpkin Senko, baby. Let's go. All right. Fish number one right here. This is a smallmouth bass for those of you who have not bass fished before. And it's a nice little guy. Ate on the green pumpkin Senko. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep fishing. The Senko is working. And um, hopefully it can pull a, more, a few more out of here. If not, we're going to have to move upstream or downstream. But this is what we're looking for. Only need a couple more of these and then we're good. We can move down to the Makai section of our challenge. So let's let this guy go. There he goes, baby. All right, let's keep fishing. Oh, bite, bite, bite. Come on. There we go. It's a little guy. Oh, maybe, maybe he's all right. Uh, nah, little guy. Another little guy. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. Oh, hooked him on the outside of the... Oh, wait, never mind. All right. That is fish number three, baby. Oh. Hey, calm down. There we go. Hook out. Little guy right there. Beautiful brown bass. Small mouth. Set him free. There he goes. I'm on, I'm on. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's in the bushes. Get up, get up. Oh, he's just a little guy. Just a little itty bitty guy. Oh, let's walk him out into here. Man, you are eating a big bait for how big you are, man. There we go. All right, baby little guy right there. And that is the last fish of the challenge. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit and try and catch some more because I still have a bit of time left. Didn't think I was gonna finish that early, but that's, there we go, four fish. Uh, Malco challenge is done. We're gonna move on to the Makai challenge after uh, I finish up here. Let's let this beautiful little guy go. goes all right let's keep fishing for a little bit and then um, head over to the ocean come on there we go there we go oh that's a good one that's a good one that is a good one that is a good one come on baby that is a nice one get in here boy let's go let's go right here oh my god he's a tank it's 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 a tank holy crap holy crap holy crap okay okay need just bring him up. oh there we go baby that is what we are here for holy moly that's a big one that is probably he swallowed everything oh no i don't have pliers hey Alright guys, that is the last fish of the challenge. 
Beautiful smallmouth bass. Fourth fish, very nice. Pretty big one too. He's got a nice belly on him, he's healthy. And um, let's, let's set him free. We'll get this hook out and we'll let it go. All right guys, for bait we're using shrimp. And I like to buy the shrimps with the heads on because um, it means it's not cleaned, it's not gutted or anything like that. And what that does is it makes the, it makes it scent and taste more fishy. So it's more natural to the fish. Whereas if it's cleaned out and gutted, um, I, I'm, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I feel like um, when the bite is tough, this the type of shrimp that you have makes a difference. So um, yeah, I just like to buy these ones because uh, they're fishier and they appear more natural to uh, the, the fish that you're going for. Then I just use the head for chum and then just break off chunks of it. Like that. And uh, usually works better. All right guys, Nick's on, first fish of the Makai challenge. Ooh, oh, Pupio, Pupio. Oh, is that a nice one? Wait, here, here, here. Oh, oh, Okay, calm down, calm down. Oh, why Pupio? There you go. Hey, oh, dude, this is like the same one. Yeah, it's <laughs> This is nice the same one. one. Did you swallow it? Oh no, it's right there, it's right there. Oh, barely. It's a nice size. Nice papillo. Good job, Nick. Yep. All right, that's one fish. Uh -huh. one fish. First fish of the Makai section challenge. Oh my God, what are you doing? There's a hook in your butt. There's a, there's a hook in your butt. Oh no, it's just a line. It wraps around your button. Oh, okay. All right, guys, we're actually on this time. Oh, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong, he's pretty strong. Oh, no way, did he just come off? Oh, no way, no, did he just come off? Oh shit, oh I'm stuck, okay. Oh, he came off. No. Oh, damn, that was pretty big. Really? Yeah. Like legal? Probably, damn it. All right, I guess we just gotta try again. All right, guys, we got another fish, but Nick and I are tangled, so I'm just gonna pull it up and, oh, it's a little baby feel. Oh, we're off. We are? Yeah, we're off. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, this is fish number two for today. A little baby papillo. Cute little guy. And we're gonna let him go. Oh, we're actually gonna keep him as a pet? <laughs> no, we're not. Stay tuned for Zach's saltwater tank. How do I. There we go. Alright. Just gonna release. There he goes. Alright, that's fish number two. We need two more fish and then we complete the challenge. Alright, Nick's on again. Oh, baby papil. Pull him up. Pull him up. Hey, okay. All right, we're almost done. We only need one fish left. Little baby papillo. Just get a release. Yes. Sir. All right, one more fish. Come on, here, wait, I, got it. I think it's a puffer fish. Again? Yeah, I think. I just want to gaff a puffer fish. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I didn't see it right. Oh wow! Oh dude, that's a fat one. Do you think you can get it up? It's fighting too much. Uh, he's hooked. Is it in his mouth or is it in his it's throat? In his, it's in his mouth. Hurry up! Hurry up! Just, just, just pull just, it up. Yeah, just pull it up. It's gonna break. All right, uh, I don't think we count that because we didn't land it. So, um, challenge is still going.
nice baby papil right here. Good size one. Gotta let them know. Alright guys, just some quick backstory on what I'm about to talk about. After I caught that papil, I rebaited and I casted it back out in the same spot where I caught the papil, uh, just in case there was another one or something. And um, I noticed that my phone was really close to the edge of the water, so I picked it up to put it in my pocket, and when I look back up, my pole just zooms into the water, and that's where we're at now. Alright guys, um... I just lost an entire setup to a fish. I don't know what the hell it was, but um, I didn't even have time to react. I literally, I, I looked up to check to see if my pole was getting bit and it just zoomed into the water, like faster than I could even react. I didn't even have time to get up. And now there is a fish swimming away with my entire pole and the reel and it's just going and i have no idea i mean look there's no way i can't even see it like it just went straight to the bottom like it didn't even i didn't even have time to um jump in and grab it it just straight down to the bottom and now it's gone so um i don't know what to say i'm just pissed off Anyway, that's what happened just now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you dumbass. You even heard me press record. I'm putting that in the video. Alright guys, and with that, we are done with the video. We did manage to complete the Malco to Makai challenge, but uh, I did end up losing my pole and my reel, which kind of sucked, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm more mad at the fact that I won't get to see what was on the, on the line, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I might do it again, but this time add on a section where maybe I actually go into the water and try and shoot fish. So, um, uh, if you guys enjoy, just enjoy this video, just let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.